How did he ho? Hopefully the camera doesn't switch from this camera to the fucking front facing camera in the middle of the video again. Ha ha. Right, so this is a deck profile I recorded on my uh, stream, but I have to re record it because OBS decided it's funny to install under the wrong user, and therefore everything I record on there is put under that user's fucking account and I can't access it. So I physically cannot actually, you know, record on streams anymore. Yay, thank you. So, Streamlabs OBS, why did you have to be cunt? Like, anyway, so we're gonna do it again, hopefully less chaotic as well, actually, because the last one I did this, it was very fucking chaotic. So we're gonna do this profile yet again, waha. So, heroes, as you can tell by that. We're gonna go with the first of the bunch, the elemental heroes. We're gonna go with free Stratos, uh, three Shadow Mist, two Liquid Soldier, and two Honest Neos. Now, reason being is Honest Neos, it's just a searchable lol I gain attack fuck you card. So yeah, it's, it's a fun card for that reason. Two Liquid Soldier, it's an extender, but it's usually a turn two extender. You can extend during your first turn if you like discard Stratos with um, Faris and you so happen to have this guy in hand still. But even then, Faris kind of locks you into Dark Hero, so you wouldn't even be able to bring back the Stratos. So it's very situational, but it's better than the other one, which is Solid Soldier, which is a lot more situational, let's be fair. So for our normal summon, that's actually a nice normal summon. Next we have our triple uh, Shadow Mist. Reason being is lol, discard off of Faris, or just normal summon it to get a Mars Strange if you know Dark Claw's gonna fuck over your opponent, so it's always good. Plus, there's ways to send it from deck to grave to then just search a hero as well, so nice. And then finally, free Stratos, because, well, it's Stratos, it's like the one that searches. It's like, it, there's a reason it was limited and banned and all that for ages. Yeah, you're gonna run a playset. Um, so next, we're gonna go into, let me grab them because I've actually mixed this up a little. Uh, we're gonna grab the Destiny Heroes next, which is double Malicious, one Denier, one Dynatag, and one Plasma. Now Plasma is just lol, I'm gonna steal your monster, plus it's a target for the uh, Destroy Phoenix Enforcer Fusion if you need to. Uh, Dynatag, same thing, but also it's just, I have this in hand, I stop myself from taking battle damage, so it's actually quite nice. Next we have the Denier, because the Denier in that engrave will just recycle your Maliciouses. And Malicious is because, well, every hero deck plays double Malicious because you just get a free monster on board, it's lovely. So, yeah. That explains the Destiny hero package. Next we're going to go into the Vision hero package of Free Faris. Oh, fucking hell, I hate where my fucking uh, light is right there. So Free Faris two increase and two Vion. So it's basically access to the uh, Faris combo as easy as possible with three of them. And then obviously you have the Vions and the uh, increases because that's how you end the combo. But it be having two of them, A, if one of them's in hand, it doesn't matter because you can steal some from one, one from deck, giving yourself just discard fodder if anything. And two, it means if you didn't draw any of them, you can do the combo twice which never really comes up, but it's always better to have the extra for the deck version and then maybe an extra use if need be sort of thing, then just no, you know what I mean? So next we have our one adjusted gold for our evil hero package. Uh, obviously, I don't think I have to explain this. It just gets you into one of your best like uh, final bosses of the deck. Next we have a hero lives uh, and triple E emergency call when it comes to like the majority of like the elemental hero spells so a hero lives lol pay half my life points get a free uh stratos can't go wrong and the free emergency calls is just i get to search all of my level four heroes i'm not gonna complain about that and then we have rota for the exact same reason this deck's got a lot of potential searches so it's actually highly consistent next we have our free fusion destiny because you can verte into Destroy Phoenix Enforcer, but because I'm running multiple Destiny Hero fusions and the fact that uh, Phoenix Enforcer is better to summon off of like having this in hand than 
via the Verte combo because you have to play around just to get the Verte out in time. Because obviously you lock yourself quite quickly. Yeah, Fusion Destiny ain't bad at free for that reason, so you run the free. Next we have our free Master Changes for the uh, Master Hero stuff. Uh, as I said, you can search it off of um, Vion, not Vion, uh, Shadow Mist. Which, if you know they die straight away to, you know, Dark Claw, that's not bad. But this is more for having free, so you don't have to search it. So you can use the Hero Searcher effect rather than having to try to get it on your board just so you can get a Dark Claw, like Dark Mist or whatever. So having the free is just good for consistency's sake. Next is the one Dark Calling for the Evil Hero uh, Adjusted Gold to search. One Polymerization to banish a hero to search on Vion effect. Um, and it gets you into a few more uh, fusion plays. Super Poly, because act heroes actually have uh, two really good uh, Super Poly targets and one decent Super Poly target. Uh, we'll get into that later. And Finale, Monster Reborn, because it was a one space that I had and there weren't really anything else I wanted to run a one of. Like, yeah, you could run Harpy's Feather as a one of, but eh, you could run like a Floodgate at one, like Imperial Order or something, but you're running too many spells for that. Uh, you could run back row removal as back row removal, but like one twin twisters is going to do fuck all. Meanwhile, if you have the monster reborn, if you don't get it, oh well, if you do get it though, it extends your plays completely. Meanwhile, if your opponent doesn't play back row, twin twisters is dead. M monster reborn is pretty much always live. So as the one of, yeah, I kind of prefer it personally. Obviously, in a competitive uh, standpoint, it's probably better to like run something else, but that's how I like it. Next, we have double Dark Claw in our extra. Uh, because obviously, as I said, it does kill some decks, but obviously some decks that it kills do have the out because they know it kills them. So having the second one to go, oh, you killed one, I'll just summon the other then, is kind of nice. We have our Acid for back row removal. Again, I really don't like where my fucking light is, but yeah. We've got our Acid for back row removal. And we also have a Blast for back row removal as well. Which is really nice. Next we go into the super poly targets. So <laughs> feel free to call me weird for this, but this is my uh, trip. I've got three super poly targets. We've got uh, Absolute Zero. This is the one that's kind of met. It's like one of the best elemental hero fusions, but it's unlikely that you're going to super poly this. So you're more likely going to use a liquid soldier to go into this with the poly. But you can also, if your opponent's playing any kind of water deck, whether it be like uh, Paleo, uh, Frogs, uh, Ice Barrier for some stupid reason, like any water deck can make, get you an easy adjust, uh, Absolute Zero, which is very nice. Next we have our next Super Poly target, which is obviously the Shining, because lol, you have Light Monster. And on the opposite end of the spectrum, we have uh, Adoration for the uh, Dark Monster. Escarado ain't bad, but I would rather the uh, Adoration because it's got more attack, so it's a bigger beat stick. Like, sure, Escarado can technically boost the others, but you're already doing other stuff to boost them, plus you're going to probably OTK anyway, so you don't really need that extra boost. You, you'd rather have something like Adoration where its effect literally reads, you can target one face-up monster opponent controls and a hero I control, and they lose attack so it's not even a boost but it's like lol i have uh malicious bane on like three six because i used its effect i'm now going to make your blue eyes ultimate like <laughs> like fucking 900 attack points and i'm just gonna yeet over you so it's really nice actually for that next we have the destiny hero fusions we've got our dangerous in case you for some reason can't get malicious to grave there's your way into malicious and grave uh, we also, and it also gives you stuff like Denier for some reason you can't do that or like Plasma if you would rather your Plasma Engrave or Dynatag or whatever. Uh, we have our Dystopia because that's actually an interruption. That's actually an interruption. If you, um, if you get a Dread Decimator pointing to this, it will have attack that's not its original attack so it becomes a quick effect pop. Not as good as DPE, but it's still good. Talking of which, I'll see the one DPE. I don't know why you wouldn't run the one DPE. It's such a good card. Uh, it's basically lol pop everything. Fuck you. Uh, and then obviously for the evil hero stuff we have the malicious bane. So can't go wrong with that. Then we have the links. 
We have our Verte, in case you want to obviously do the Verte play. I didn't want to take the Verte play out in, entirely, because obviously, yeah, it's not ideal, but if you can go into it that way, it's better than not going into it, if you know what I mean. So the one Verte is quite nice for that. Uh, and then we have the hero links. We have Wonder Driver, Cross Crusader, and Dread. So with Wonder Driver, it's just to clear up the board a bit, get yourself a light if you need it. Um, and it also gets you like uh, back into your mass changes if it was sent to grave or whatever. So it's not bad for that reason. Cross Crusader obviously is your searcher. You can use it with like malicious engraved to special summon the malicious, send the malicious, search any hero, then go into even more plays and then potentially recycle the malicious. So Cross Crusader is really good for that. And then we have the Dread Decimator for A, making Dystopia a uh, quick effect and also to basically uh, help you OTK your opponent and make it more difficult for him to attack over, especially with DPE's uh, attack lowering uh, effect, same with Adoration. So it makes uh, attacking over heroes a bit more difficult. So that's my hero build. Like, it's not the best hero build in the world. I'm never going to say that, but I want to say it does really well. Um, it hard loses to some back row decks like Mystic Mindburn, but to be fair, what deck nowadays kind of doesn't because... Like, no one, no one main decks fucking Twin Twisters anymore. Like, eh. The only deck I have built right this second, actually, that doesn't hard lose to it is something like either Unchained, which is very unlikely that you get the out in that deck, to be honest with you. Because a lot of the pops are monsters. You'd have to get Escape to pop the Mystic Mine. Um, and Eldritch, because obviously Conquistador. But they're like my only two decks that can out Mystic Mine, so... I, I see it this way. Missing Mind should be banned, personally, because I feel like it, it just shuts down too many strategies with one searchable field spell that can be protected. Like, it, no, it, it, it's kind of uh, toxic, in my opinion. But, on the other end, I can also see why some control decks need it to even survive. But, to be honest, by that logic, half the cards shouldn't have been banned, because a lot of cards require this card to survive, even though it's not good, and then that card got banned anyway. Like, Heart Pora made Orcus a good deck, but then it also was allowing you to run a mild Orcus engine in so many bad decks that the bad decks were actually kind of good. Uh, you could say the same about Mermaid. Like, there's a lot of cards that have gotten banned, even though it helps the smaller decks. So I think Mystic Mine should be one of them, personally. But, hey-ho, that's just my own personal gripes with a card. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's a, it's a fun deck. It's an expensive deck. <laughs> I'm never going to say otherwise. This deck's fucking expensive. But... If you do have like the hero cards laying around or if you're like just missing like one or two cards i would recommend building this build or maybe like maybe go to mbt because he's like the more like hero active Yu-Gi-Oh player on the site but other than that hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys enjoy the deck i'm hoping to upload more deck profiles now that i've got a somewhat gist of how i have to do it now because of the switch to obs but i hope you guys enjoyed i will see you in the next one until then ta-ta